guys I wanted to show you in this video how to get an unlimited number of presets inside of the new DxO Nick collection I'm actually working inside of analog effects pro and when you open it up you get this screen and you will have one preset already being applied. Now, you can actually change things around a little bit. And to do that, we can just go and hit the vary button. And that should vary things just a little bit. And if we go ahead and say change a setting, let's go to make it a little bit more cool. We can hit the vary button and it will change very slightly whatever settings there are in the settings column slight variations going on and you could possibly create a new preset out of this. Another way of working of course is to choose the presets here and all in all there are about 50, no, about 80 different presets in Analog Effects Pro. If you want to access more including the new on Vogue presets just click on the classic camera it brings up what it calls tool combinations and these tool combinations are essentially presets more presets. Let's click on black and white and you can see them here. Let's click on and you might be wondering why we've got this colorful image inside of the black and white presets. I think what they really mean is monochrome rather than black and white but in any case let's go to color cast and here we've got a bunch of different presets that we can click on here and once again we can choose to vary these as well. But if you really want to get something totally fresh, just click on the I'm feeling lucky at the bottom and it will come up with completely different presets based on random selections of new variations. We can go and find the on Vogue, the new on Vogue presets down here. And these ones have their own combination. As you can see, some of these take quite a long time to load. They have a texture inside of them. And when the texture is a very high resolution, it can take a couple of seconds for the texture to load. But you'll be able to see just how high resolution the texture is when we zoom in. So I'm just going to zoom into 100%. Give it a couple of seconds. You can see we've got this really fine grain texture going on inside of the image. We can see these little scratches here. Let's go down to the bottom and see what happens when we click on the I'm feeling lucky down here. And what you see there is that it creates completely new combinations which you might not have thought up. And I think this is a really useful way of working if you want to see what the capabilities are of the software. And essentially you could end up, if you think about it, with an unlimited number of different filters that you could dream up just by clicking a few buttons and seeing what kind of effects you're getting. So that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you found that useful. If you did, hit the like button and uh, subscribe for more videos. Share the video with someone else who will like it. Leave a comment and I will see you guys later. Bye.